In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the rotate tool and the rotate tool belongs to the edit toolbar and you can find the edit toolbar under view, toolbars and edit. So to use the rotate tool we need a 3D or, or a 2D surface to rotate so let's draw something. So get the rectangle tool click at the start of the origin and draw out a rectangle then we can use zoom extents to make it nice and big um, a quick way of getting into 3D is to click on the isometric view and then we can push pull this up a little bit higher and if you want to learn about um, the push pull tool some more you can find that under the uh, push pull tips tutorial so next what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, a group and why I make things a group is because it makes it easier to um, for example rotate, uh, move and copy and it can contain things so they don't get tangled up with one another but we're going to go more into detail about groups in um, later tips so to make this a group we need to select the object with the select tool, so drag a nice big box, right click on it and then select make group. Then what we need to do to be able to rotate is first select the object, so with the select tool again click on the object and you've now selected it, then we can get the the rotate tool to start to rotate it. So just a few little um, basics about the rotate tool uh, the rotate tool works on different planes um, because we're in a 3D environment you can rotate in different directions so we've got the green plane, blue and the red um, if you find a plane that you would like to rotate on and you would like to lock that plane you can find it first then hold shift and it will lock that plane and see how it no longer turns to green or red as soon as I let go of shift it will go and find the red again and the green. So we put it on the surface you want, find the plane, hold shift and now we've locked that green plane and then that can be placed anywhere. Okay so let's let's look at the different planes first so let's go and find the blue plane, hold shift and let's rotate this on a 90 degree angle along the blue plane so let's just see what happens. So let's put it onto the corner okay I haven't clicked anything yet, still holding shift now I'm going to click and it's placed the um, protractor tool, oh, sorry the rotate tool. Um, I, can, I can now let go of shift because I've placed that plane and I now need to choose my start angle. So just like um, any protractor or rotate tool um, we need to click to begin at the base of the angle then we need to start moving it up and you can see the angle changing now up in the, um, up in the field up here and I can move that up and then we can use these little segments on the rotate tool to lock to if we want or we can actually type in uh, let's say 90 degrees now we're going to try a different plane so let's hold shift on the, blue, on the green plane and go and put it again at the same point click and we've now set that plane you can now let go of shift then you click your starting point or your start angle then you start to move your mouse upwards and that will start the rotation and again up in the measurement field we can then type in um, a specific angle so maybe we type in 45 this time okay so if we want to pull that back down to 90 degrees we can touch the green plane again hold shift put it on the end point, click, let go shift, click on the end point, pull that down and that brings it back to 90. And lastly we'll look at the red plane and rotating on that plane, so hold shift on the red plane, touch the corner, click, and you don't necessarily have to start along the bottom of the edge every time, you could maybe start up here, it's just the beginning of the angle, so you click there and then you can bring it down to 90 that way. Um, there's another really good feature with the rotate tool um, you can select the planes on a point 
So just check out this. So if I put it down on this corner here, for example, instead of finding the plane by holding shift first, I'm actually going to left click and hold my mouse button on that corner. So I'm holding my mouse button down, then I can drag it to the left and it will find the green plane, drag it to the right, it will find the red, and move it upwards and find the blue. So once I've found the plane that I'd like to rotate on, let's say it's the blue, I can let go of my left mouse button and that's now set the plane. Then I can click my start angle and then rotate. If I want to do that again, maybe with a different plane and a different point, you can even do it in the center of the object. I could left click and hold at the midpoint of the line, drag it along this line edge here, or I could even take it out to the right. Uh, I'm going to choose green for this example, release, and then I'm going to choose my starting point, which is downwards, click, and then I'm going to move it upwards and click again. We've now rotated it along that line there. And lastly, what we can do with the rotate tool is we can rotate and copy. So I'm going to um, put it on this corner, click to begin, and I'm going to go along this edge here and click to begin. Alright, so I've got the plane, I've started my rotate rotation. Then all you have to do, like the move tool, is press control while you're moving and then you get a copy. And you can press control again to toggle that off, press it back again and toggle it back on. So it's a toggle on and off feature um, and you can do a rotate and copy that way. Once you copy it to that point there, um, one nice thing you can do is you can do um, maybe you want to rotate and copy that by four times. So you could type in 4x enter and you've now copied that four times.